Hello there, our football travels have taken us to the eastern part of the English capital, a clear night here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Tilo Keira in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. The initial 11 for Wolves. João Moutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they know they need to stop him. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. And there's the delivery. Well, clattered away. Running with the ball confidently. Gonzalo Gedge. Can they convert? They had to react and did. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Chance to cross. Teammate available. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Antonio. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Gonzalo Gedge. The ball with Podence. Jared Bowen. Cutting the ball back. He might be able to carve something out. That's all they can conjure for now. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Declan Rice. And West Ham in a position of menace. He's in behind. And it's in! 1-0. They breach the defence. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that.
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Neto. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Over it comes, and he clears the danger. Good-looking sequence. This could square the game. Really vital interception. And Wolves in a position of menace. Neves. How about the cross? Neto. Gonzalo Gaddish. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Short corner taken. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. This might be ideal for the counter. Antonio. Pablo Fornals with it. Antonio! It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look-in. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. A second goal for them here. Nine, Martinho. Ruben Neves. It's with Ruben Neves. Pedro Neto. Well, he keeps going. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Ruben Neves. Not a great pass. Suchek. Promising looking attack from West Ham. For Niles. Well read to win possession back. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Defenders need to cover. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Lucas Paqueta. Antonio. Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. Podence. Chance to attack using width. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given.
Delivered into the box. Well, thumped clear. Intense pressure. Couldn't keep it. Could reduce the deficit. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And Moutinho with it. Gets! Keeper getting the touch. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Let's see about the delivery. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Away they go again, second half underway. Will it be more of the same from the Hammers? Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? Declan Rice. On to Paqueta. Jared Bowen. Keeping the ball moving. A very timely interception. Ruben Neves. It's with Moutinho. Gonzalo Gerdes. Podence. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Suchek. And he saw the situation developing. And they need to get tighter. And behind it's gone for a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately, and just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Declan Rice. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Jared Bowen. Antonio. In possession, Bowen. Can he finish? And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So, back at action, and it's looking rather like a matter of how many for West Ham here.
Podens. Ruben Neves. And denied by the post. Well, I'm still amazed that stayed out. He looked to have done everything right, didn't he? And that was a very fine read. Kurt Zuma. Jared Bowen. For Niles. And options in the centre. Rice. It might be. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? Whipped into that danger area. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Ryan Ait Nuri. Gonzalo Gerdes now. Podence. Now a decent position. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Declan Rice for Niles and possession lost intercepted Tilo Kera and space for West Ham in the wide position And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. Substitution for West Ham United. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Pablo Fornos. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Maxwell Corre. Substitution for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Coming off the pitch, Number seven, Pedro Neto, to be replaced by number 37, Adama Traore. Now successfully cut out. Real chance. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, it's a decent goal, but the defenders certainly played their part. Where were they? They were absolutely all over the place. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Podence. Gonzalo Gedish now. Well, great read there to intercept. Taking care of business defensively here. Antonio. Well timed tackle. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Substitution for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Daniel Pines. 
Antonio. Well, they have the ball once more. And we've entered the final five minutes. Gonzalo Gedge. It's looking promising. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. And the cross is very much on. Well, you have to marvel at the technique, but no end result for him. Well, he did almost everything right there. Good skill, great contact, but not quite the accuracy. Kurt Zuma. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Oh, what an opportunity. And that will do it. The referee's whistle indicating that it's the end of the game and West Ham get the victory. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.